What's up guys, Volt here. I'm bringing you my second episode of Import and Export Millionaire Tips and Tricks. So, in this video here, I'm going to talk about a few things that you're going to need as well. Now this is not a continuation of the... No, LJT, LJT not now, thank you. Maybe later. Um, this is not a continuation of the last video, but it is something that you need to address or need to know. Okay, first off, as you know, you need a CEO office, a vehicle warehouse, and you know, maybe a couple hundred thousand dollars, you know, to spend in so you can get your business going. Now, the other things you're going to need are a few basic necessities or, you know, tools of the trade, I should say. So, first off, it's going to be your car. Now, cars are an important thing in this game, and to get the point A to point B, you will be able to use cars really excessively, you know. So here we go. I'm going to get into my very first car. I've only lined up about four or five cars, but this is just going to give you an idea of what you can use. So the very first car is the LG RH8. Now the LG RH8 is actually a brand, well not brand new, but it is actually a free car to I think everyone. I'm pretty sure it is everyone. It is modeled after the Nissan GTR and it is a really beautiful car. When you automate, uh, sorry, when you customize it all the way, you actually get a really nice car. Now, fun fact, whenever you do a mission, there is a certain mission when you do uh, source a car that you get an LG to use to beat a certain time. And I will get into that a little bit later. Don't worry, I'll get into the missions a little bit later. I'm doing a few more videos and then the missions will start. Don't worry, you'll you'll understand why a little bit later on. So first off, I thought I'd do this one first. This is the very first one, and this is the way it goes by money-wise. So this is free. So it takes no money at all to buy this. It does take money to upgrade it, but it takes no money at all to buy it. So, you know, everyone should have at least one of these in their garage. I mean, why not? It's free. So, but like I said, if you're just starting out, this is a great car for you to start out with. Number two, if you're into the whole, oops, sorry, if you're into the whole rare cars, rare cars are good sources as well. They are pretty much modified extremely well right off the bat. Um, you are looking for pretty much any pedestrian type car, possibly any special spawn vehicles like this one here, which is the uh, Sentinel that spawns at night at around I think midnight or not midnight, uh, 2300 and three o'clock up by the uh, one place I'm not really sure what it is. I if I find out I will let you guys know. I think it's the I'll show you exactly where it's located. It's located right right here. It spawns right in this area. So you just take this loop right here, and it'll spawn at that time. Um, you may also get a yellow one. The yellow one, and they both sell for actually pretty decent price. This sells for seventeen thousand, and the um, yellow one sells for about fourteen to 16000 I think, somewhere around there. So, you know, it's a good car to have. But like I said, any pedestrian-type vehicle will work as long as it's fast, you know, mainly supercars with good handling and a decent acceleration or speed is a good thing to have as well. But, you know, you're probably wondering, well, why isn't that in front of the LG or the LG behind this? Well, this is actually harder to get than the LG. The LG is free. All you got to do is pull up your phone. Go down here, go over to Travel and web Website, and go to Benny's, and just go over here, and boom, right there it is, free. Now, that's not free, but don't worry about that. You also get it on the Legendary Motorsports page as well, but, you know, it's free. So, that's that's just proving that right there. So, again, another thing, so we're going to start getting into the money-wise, spending-wise. So, if you want to spend a few thousand dollars, probably about ten to fifteen, you could spend them on some bikes. Now, bikes are fairly cheap. If we look at the prices of bikes real quick, uh, this one here is actually, I think, the cheapest one that is actually one of the faster of the motorcycles as well. So this is the Akuma, and the Akuma is, I think it is, where is it? I think, uh, my Batsu. Dinka Akuma is only nine thousand dollars to buy one of these things. Now, you could rob a few stores and get this money in no time flat, you know. But in the end, if you actually take your time and upgrade it, it'll actually 
be a very good vehicle for you to use. This thing is actually, I think, one of the fastest vehicles in the game. Well, fastest motorcycles in the game. And it's pretty good. I'm, I actually like it. It's in my motorcycle club right now. So, But like I said, if you want to spend a few thousand dollars, a good motorcycle is to have is a good way of transportation as well in this game for doing your missions for the import export DLC. So, moving on to a little bit more expensive areas. Any kind of armor vehicle. Now, this is the, I think it's... Uh, I can't wait. Okay, Benefactor Shafter V12. I don't even know what car I have. This is actually one of the fastest, if not the fastest, sports cars when upgraded. Now, this car here is actually a very nice car to have. Any kind of armored car is really nice because you will get shot at by a lot of NPCs. You will have a lot of players possibly shooting at you. You'll have rockets shooting at you, you know. And having an armored car like this, you will take one rocket and the other one will blow you up. And then you'll take some a uh, little bit of damage. And it's mainly got, you know, it's mainly bulletproof for the most part. But the windows can be shot through after a certain amount of bullets go through. So if you're willing to spend, I think it's like 425000 for this thing. Let me check real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. It's got to be down here, I think. No, wait, I passed it. Uh, uh, no. Did I pass it? Maybe I didn't. Um, I could have sworn it was in here. I know it's in the uh, luxury area, so maybe it's further down. It was not. I think I did pass it. Anyways, you know that's pretty much what you need to know about the uh, armor type deal. It's gonna roughly cost you about 548 to you know 400 thousand or so. Is it this one? Yeah, this one here. So you know the basic price is 116 thousand, but if you get the armor version, it's gonna run you about 325 thousand. So it's a cheap car, or not cheap car. It's an expensive car, but in the end, it'll actually you know help you out in the end. Um, now, if you have done the very first heist, which is the, I'm thinking it's the Fleesa job or Fleeka, I don't know how you exactly say that, you will get this car here, the Armor Karuma. Now, the Armor Karuma you can find on Southern San Andreas Super Autos for, I think, about 500 or so thousand. Yeah, 525,000 for this thing. Now, the thing about this is, it is completely bulletproof. It is not one part of this thing is not bulletproof. The tires are automatically bulletproof and it has lightweight armor on it, but it can also move really fast. When you upgrade it, it can be pretty badass. But the thing about mine is I don't upgrade the performance the appearance all that much. The performance is maxed out though. So it is a kind of a sleeper, not really though. You can still tell it's an armored Karuma. But <clears throat> unlike the armored car right here, your windows will not get shot out. There is a spot right about, like right where my finger is, right right about here, where you can actually shoot through it for some reason, but in the end, you know, it's not gonna make all that much of a difference. Now, you know, if you don't like the cars that I have here, you have plenty of other cars to choose from. You know, you have the Insurgent, which is a million dollars if you really wanna go expensive, but it's not bulletproof, it is rocket proof though. You know, you can get a, a cockhead off the, the um, out of the world. You can get a Dominator. You know, there's many, many different cars you can get. These are just some of the cars I saved up, I made, and stuff like that. So, that's just a little bit of, you know, insight behind what cars you could use or what cars you should use when actually sourcing and not really selling vehicles, but sourcing vehicles mainly. You know, getting to point A to point B is one of the big, big points of this, you know, DLC. Speaking of which, there is one other item or one other vehicle I wanted to talk about. Now, this is if you're, you know, you already have a, a vehicle warehouse and you're working on everything else. Having a buzzard, if I know where it spawned, right here, having a buzzard really does help a lot. You get to point A to point B to point all the way up to Z with, like, ease. It flies super fast. It's got rockets, machine guns, you know, it's a really nice vehicle. Plus, you can also land it on your CEO warehouse 
or CEO office, I mean. But yes, it is very, very nice. Um, I use the, you, the I usually use this all the time. I mean, there's not a time that I don't use my buzzer. Um, right now, I think it is on discount. Hey. LJT, no. Stop with the messages, LJT, please. All right, so on more shot cash and carry. If we look here, I think the buzzer is actually yes, it is discounted down 25 percent. It was 1.75 million. It is now 1.32, 500 million. So you know, it's discounted a little bit. It's actually worth the price. I spent uh, 820, 800 and some thousand on mine because it was half off. So in the end, like I said, it's gonna really help you out, and you know, you never know how much it's gonna actually help you out. So now that we talked about cars, let's talk about weaponry. Okay. First off, you can come in here, and things you might want to get are a lot of super heavy armor. Now, it's only 450 bucks. That's pretty cheap. You can get, hold up to 10. All right, so the main points. You're going to need these four things. A suppressed gun. Now, that could be a pistol, as you can see here. You know, it could be this. Or it could be, you know, a submachine gun. Or it could be a assault rifle. You know, it could be many, many things as long as it's suppressed because you will need it to do certain missions. And I will touch on that a little bit later. Don't worry about that. <clears throat> so don't worry about that at all. All right. So number two, you will definitely need a sniper rifle. Now, I preferably use this one, the heavy sniper rifle, but you don't get that till later on down when you level up. And when you level up, you know, it does take a little bit to level up. Um, when you do source and sell cars, though, you do make a lot of XP and a lot of... I don't really think RP, but you do make a lot of XP. Now, having this sniper able to suppress on does help as well in a mission, and I will touch face on that a little bit later as well. <clears throat> I think I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit. But um, that is pretty much the main thing that you're going to need for sniper rifles. All right, so moving on. We will now move on to the assault rifles. Assault rifles is one of the main things that you're going to need because you're going to have a lot of NPC enemies and possibly player enemies as well to take out. If you don't take them out right away, then you're going to have some trouble. You don't need a suppressor on them. It does help because you can have two weapons in one with the suppressor and you know an assault rifle. That kills two birds with one stone. Just saying that. And the very last thing you're going to need is either an RPG, which you oh, don't well, get till the very down. end Oops. when you level up, I think. Somewhere like in the 70s or 80s, I think. Or the really expensive homing launcher, because these will come in handy in missions as well. A lot of the things you're going to need are pretty much those right there. So you're going to need a suppressed weapon, a definitely an assault rifle, a sniper rifle of some sort. It doesn't matter which one. It doesn't matter which assault rifle either your personal preference. I'm not telling you which one to choose. I personally use this one now, the advanced rifle, and I also have the special carbine and the carbine rifle here. I, carry I have these myself. two set up on my class. I have a silenced pistol if I need it, but I use the AP pistol instead because it's automatic. I have the suppressed micro SMG because it's great whenever you're uh, drive buying, and I have both the RPG and the homing launcher. So. You know, these are tips and tricks that you need to know. They will help you out in actually sourcing your vehicles and, you know, making it a lot easier for you to understand what you need to do. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys took something away from this. If you guys did and you guys enjoy this, leave some comments down below. Give me your feedback. Give me your opinions. Give me your suggestions. I will even take some of your suggestions in the hand and try them out and see how they work. Um, don't forget to like the video and... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. It's going to be down and always going to be down in the description down below. And I'll see you guys later. More GTA videos in the future. I'm Volt, and I'm out. Peace.